there. This is the energy. This is the passion. And, and I'm living the dream. And I ain't even got there yet, but I'm getting there because of you guys. That's what makes Hard Knocks so special. Seems like all of the Albanians in London are here. This, this atmosphere, you know, I've been at the York Hall for many boxing occasions and I've been fortunate enough to be involved in some some real exciting nights here. And uh, and the noise that these guys are making is, is quite exceptional. Representing Birmingham, Terry Carruthers. The Albanian Eagle, Krasnik Chato. Carruthers might have nicked it from at the start. It's been a good positive start for the inverted commas away fighter. I think I think early on in tonight, and we've watched some of the bouts already, that, that we know that there's not really any such thing as an away fighter on these shows. You know, there is a... There is a I'm going to stop talking here because this is going to heat up. But, you know, there is a case for a fighter not to throw the same shot too many times because it comes predictable and then you get countered. But Cheto's got nowhere near that with that right hand. There is still many more he could have thrown. Who's done enough? Who's done the most in the eyes of referee Ian John Lewis? And there the bell sounds. Referee gives it to Resnick Chattel. It must have been tight. It was a terrifically close contest. And it's the Albanian fans who are singing. To be honest, that, like I said, that last round I preferred Cheto's work because it was clean at the end. So I probably have it by one point. Uh, and I think you agree. So it, I, I don't know how you had that last round. So I'll be interested to see what the judges call on. A round of applause, though, for that kid there. He deserves, he deserves uh, all the respect for making such yeah. a hell of a fight. Simon O'Donnell and Ty Mitchell is a battle between two fighters determined to prove they belong with the middleweight elite. Both will be boosted by big support. It sold a hell of a lot of tickets. You got a message to your fans? I've got a few. I think a lot of them are coming to see me lose. Two guys hungry, both believing that they can win and coming to win. It's a big fight. This is where Simon can take over the fight if he just keeps up. He takes another few left though as they trade up close. And it looks as though it's almost right there's, now. There's our answer right there. That's what Mitchell's made of. He has plenty of fight in him. This kid can fight, and we now have a genuine fight on our hands. And there's a right hook from Mitchell, who is standing his ground and swinging away, and the crowd are on their feet. Yeah, Mitchell, Mitchell's asset is that, that he's an awkward long arm southpaw. But, like, you know, O'Donnell has seen that many times before, so he, he has the answer to it. Oh, big right, and he's over, he's in trouble. This fight's and over, in there. this fight has to be over. I don't know if he's going to recover from that. Well, he looks Mitchell, finished to me. Ty Mitchell back at his feet. Jeff Hines has a real It's over, move. it's over. The towels come in. He was in real trouble, he's on unsteady legs still. And it's an amazing turnaround win for Simon O'Donnell. The Mongolian warrior, Troy Terasankure! A hard, thing, a hard thing to fight as well because you never know where the distance is because it's constantly changing the distance. Southpaw, as you can see, Yanis Puxins, who, as we said, did go the distance with the unbeaten Welshman, Ricky Owen, who would have been in the prize fighter final, of course, having beaten Jamie Arthur. He had to withdraw from that final because of a cut, and he's on the up and up. And previously, went the distance with John Fernandez as well. That's and he's down. He's in shot. trouble. Getting hard now for Pootskins. And as ever, Choi's relentless, and he's not giving him any sort of respite at all. No, I think Ian's got to look at this now. Ian's got to look at this now. He's waved it off. Yeah. Rightly too. Pootskins gave it a go. He tried hard, but he was simply outclassed. Pro to a pro, and just put a full three years old. All right? So we want to sing happy birthday to Choi.
Keep this a crackling atmosphere once again. I think you asked me about the atmosphere, but I, I can barely hear you. So, yes, I, I'm amazed. I don't know how they get so many people supporting so many different guys all in one hall this size. Different factions enjoying one night. One winner, though, coming up for this British Masters like welter title. We've got the atmosphere, there's no doubt, Adam Booth, we've got the storyline as well. There's uh, genuinely a bit of needle, there's incentive there as well, and they both look up for it. Absorbing, this looks absorbing already. Almost like a sprinter out of the blocks, Darren Hamilton in the purple shorts, looking to get on with it. And he's taken a right hand and the knees buckle briefly. And another... There's no doubt Hamilton means business. He said the June fight was an aberration. Uh, that little mouse looks like it's now cut as well. Uh, Ryan needs to kid him and slide in long. Not stand long like that. If he stands long, he'll get punished. Chopping right hand there from Hamilton as well. And that just made Dave Ryan duck lower to the canvas. Certainly the meaningful punches, the eye-catching punches coming from Darren Hamilton, the Bristol man. Because Hamilton's long arms are giving him a problem. He needs, to, he needs to find a distance closer to Hamilton where he can get his shots off. At the moment, they're nullifying each other long and smothering each other short. Now, this is, now this is where he needs to try and dig in and, and make something count up close. But he's getting mauled all around the place by, by the upper body strength of Hamilton. Hands up on their feet again as they have been pretty much all night here at the York Hall. A famous old venue, one or two famous faces here uh, tonight as well. I spotted Charlie Magri ringside earlier on. Uh, King of the York Hall once upon a time. Flyweight world champion Dick. And it looks as though the Hamilton fans might well be laughing when the final bell tolls. The bell does go. And they embrace at the end of a hard-fought ten-round contest. But it's Darren Hamilton who has his hands raised by Jeff Hines. And Darrell Hamilton, he's the new British master champion at Light Welter. That's what makes hard knocks so special.